What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a go at creating an image based on a poster for the 2016 movie La La Land starring Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Open up your couple at the beach image. Go to create a new layer. Rename this new layer couple. Press enter when you're done. Go to select your magnetic lasso tool. Ensure that your background layer is selected. Left click on the outline of the female model and drag your mouse cursor around the outside of the woman and carry on around the man also. When you get to the bottom right corner of the man, you can drag your mouse cursor off the screen slightly, let go of your left mouse button and press enter. If part of the couple at the bottom isn't selected, go to your quick selection tool, choose plus, left click and drag your mouse over the section of the couple which isn't highlighted. Return to your couple layer, press control, shift and I. If you're a Mac user, use Command instead of Control and Option instead of Alt. Press Shift and Backspace. Fill the selection with white. Click OK. Now press Control, Shift and I again. Go back to your background layer. Press Control and C to copy. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Couple Shadows and press Ctrl and V. Go to Select and Color Range. In the options from the select box, choose Shadows. Click OK. Press Ctrl, Shift and I on your keyboard. Press Delete. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. You can make your background layer invisible. Go to select your brush tool. Set black as the foreground color. In this particular picture, I'm going to use a 30 pixel brush size with a hard round setting, opacity 100 and flow 100. With the couple shadows layer still selected, left click on the white sections of the male model's hair to paint this in black. Now select your eraser tool. With the couple shadows layer still selected, erase the woman's clothing in the middle, the outline of the face in the center, the eyes, the eyelashes, eyebrows, and the mouth and nostril of the man also. I'm going to use a size 50 hard round eraser for this particular part with an opacity and flow of 100 again. Left click over the sections in the middle. When erasing the woman's hair and the man's mouth at the top left here, ensure that you create an effect where it appears that the man's cheek is covering part of the woman's hair, like my example here. Erase the nostrils and the man's eyes and eyebrows. Do the same for the ears. Open up your Tango Couple silhouette picture. Left click on the image of the couple, drag it up to your project window. Don't let go of your mouse until you are over the canvas. Rename the new layer Tango Couple. Press Ctrl and T to resize the couple so that you can see them. I'm going to reduce the size of the image to about 50%. Press enter when you're done, select your move tool and drag the Tango couple up into the canvas if they're off screen. Select your paint bucket tool, choose black as the foreground color, left click on the blue of the male silhouette in all sections. Select your magic wand tool, 
left click on the white around the tango dancers and press delete don't forget the gaps with grey and black surroundings left click in each of these and press delete on your keyboard to get rid of the white surroundings press ctrl and d to deselect make the couple layer at the top invisible open up your hazy mountain range picture select your move tool again left click in the middle drag up to your project window don't let go of your mouse button until you're back down on the canvas let go of your mouse button drag the mountain range into the middle of the screen so the whole picture is in view rename layer one as mountain select your magic one tool left click on the pinkish orange red section of the sky just above the mountains press ctrl shift and i select your quick selection tool ensure that minus is selected now left click in the selection just above the mountain so that the selection line goes on the outline of the mountain itself now left click in the selection above you should now only have a selection of the mountain range and the bottom of your canvas go to create a new layer rename this layer BG short for background one with the selection still on screen press shift and backspace go to the box next to use and color the color I'm going to use in this particular fill is going to be 7005EB click OK click OK again press ctrl and D to deselect you can now erase the mountain layer right click on BG1 and duplicate layer rename this new layer BG2 press control on your keyboard and left click on the thumbnail for BG2 to make a selection press shift and backspace choose color once again from the list next to use this time use the code 8B32EE click OK click OK again press control and D to deselect repeat this process one more time creating BG3 layer this time for your third layer use the color code A363ED click OK what you can now do with your three BG layers is rearrange them and transform them to create a set of mountain ranges for your background what I'm going to do first of all is select my BG2 layer press ctrl and T to select drag the layer upwards I'm going to rotate the mountain range by about 10 degrees and reduce the size of it also by about 10% so that it varies from the first layer press enter control T again right click and flip horizontal I'm going to reduce the size of this layer here by about 15% and I'm also going to rotate anti-clockwise by about minus 11 I'm going to drag this layer to the top press enter I'm now going to drag B2 above B3 and B1 above B2 you should now see that your mountain ranges are building up in your picture I'm going to adjust the position of B3 slightly so it's not so high left click on each of your backgrounds if when you're done and right click and merge layers don't worry if any of the mountain layers don't stretch across the whole canvas because we are only going to see the mountain ranges within the couple outline I'm going to rename this background mountains I'm going to make my background mountains layer invisible for now go to create a new layer 
rename this new layer sky go to your gradient tool double click on the gradient thumbnail choose one of the gradients with two colors I'm going to choose the one with red and green select your color stop on the left the color code you want for this particular part is 45248D click OK now select the stop for the far right color the option you want this time is black click OK increase the color midpoint to about 70% click OK hold shift and left click at the bottom of your canvas drag your mouse cursor to the top of your canvas let go of your left mouse button there let go of shift make your sky layer invisible open up your promenade image again move this to your project window use the move tool left click on the picture drag your mouse cursor up to the project window don't let go of your left mouse button until you are over the canvas of your project ensure that this image is in the middle of your screen go to your magic wand tool we are now going to erase part of the sky and the sea which we won't need in the rest of our picture left click on sections of blue and press delete on your promenade layer don't forget you can also use the rectangular marquee tool to erase sections of the C which you don't need by left clicking making a selection and pressing delete like what you do as well with the magic wand tool and also using an eraser tool as well to wipe out any sections of water and sky which you do not need rename this layer lamppost 1 right click and duplicate layer rename this lamppost 2 go back to lamppost 1 once again double click next to the layer name to open up the layer style window go to color overlay double click on the color itself the color code you want here is going to be DBA5F9 these are going to be the colors that you'll see on top of the lamppost click OK click OK once again now go to lamppost 2 double click next to the name as you did with lamppost 1 to open up the layer style click on color overlay once more on the red section this time replace it with the following code 2C1A42 this is going to be the color of our ground click OK click OK again what I'm going to do now using the eraser tool is go over these sections here left click and drag your mouse over the section where you want okay your lamp post to appear until all three lamp posts are revealed what you can also see is some of the dark sections which I missed last time on here now rather than erasing them on lamp post 2 what I'm going to do is just go back down to lamp post 1 again erase over this particular section here so that next time I go back to lamp post 2 and erase this one I will have neither the dark purple or the pink there hold control and left click on both lamp post layers right click and merge layers together I'm going to rename this merge layer lamp posts with your lamp post layer still selected go to your polygonal lasso tool I'm going to create a little sidewalk post here like the ones that you see next to the cliffs and walkways around beaches there should be a selection here as well between the two lamp posts now press shift and backspace on your keyboard choose color and fill the selection in with the same color as the ground down here 2C1A42 click OK click OK again then recreate a similar but smaller one as well to a, which appears further away from the initial post as well now to rearrange these layers drag your background mountains behind your tango couple make the layer visible once more make your couple layer at the top visible drag your lamppost layer behind your tango couple and in front of your background mountains and make your sky layer visible also 
drag your couple shadows up to the top of your layer list. Drag your sky layer underneath all the other layers apart from the initial background layer. Now drag your couple shadows layer to the top of your layer list. You may see some sections in the hair which appear purple and white around the outline. So what I'm going to do with the couple shadows layer selected still is go back to my brush tool size 30 and choose black to go over these sections as well. I'm going to use a size 30 soft round brush with opacity 100 and flow 100 for this. I'm going to go around the outline of the man's hair first of all. And I'm going to use the brush also on the woman's hair on the inner side. Notice how the tango couple have a bright outline around them. What I need to do is to use the layer style to get rid of this. Select your magic wand tool. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer man. Go back to your tango couple layer. Hold shift and left click on each of the sections of the male silhouette. Now return to your man layer, press shift and backspace, choose black as your option, click OK, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to create a new layer, rename this layer woman, go back to your tango couple layer, left click on the woman silhouette, return to your woman layer, press shift and backspace. Go to select color from the use list. Set the color that you wish to fill with 231F20 as the code. Click OK and OK again. Press Ctrl and D. You can now erase your tango couple picture and the white linings around the silhouette should be gone now. Now to erase the purple sections on the outer side of the woman's hair. If you go to the background mountain section, select your brush tool, choose white as your foreground color and paint over the sections which are currently purple. Go to create a new layer. Drag this layer to the top of your layer list. Rename this layer stars. Press shift and backspace. Fill the new stars layer with black. Press filter, noise and add noise. Set the amount anywhere between 23 and 24 percent. Choose Gaussian as the distribution. Monochromatic, click OK. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Set the pixel count to 2, click OK. Go to your Adjustment option and click on Levels. In Levels, set your black level to 34, your grey level to 1.49 and white level to 54. Go back to your layers window again. Hold Alt and left click in between levels one layer and stars. Now select your stars layer and repeat the same process. Hold Alt and left click in between stars and couple shadows. To add more star effects without repeating the process as well of adding noise, you can right click on the levels one layer and go to duplicate layer. I'm going to call this levels two and you can see that the brightness has increased of the stars and you can also increase the quantity of stars by duplicating the stars layer then go back to your level layers again right click and choose create clipping mask and repeat the same for your duplicated levels layer on top as well left click and drag the stars to the side slightly with your stars copy layer still selected, go to your blending options and choose lighten. And you should see more stars appearing inside the hair sections. Select your text tool. In the advertising and marketing campaign of La La Land and also The Artist, 2012 movie, the font used for the title on the posters and also on the DVD cover was Yazashi. I don't have that available in my Photoshop version. What I'm just going to use here as well for the text is Perpetua Tilting MT with a bold setting, 100 point size and strong. The font color will be black. 
just looking over this picture here as well I'm not sure that the night sky blends in so well with the mountain layers so what I'm going to do is just change the color of those now very quickly if you go back to the background mountains layer if you go to your paint bucket tool the color you want here is 592390 click OK left click on the mountain range there to make that darker and I'm going to choose a slightly darker version as well for my final mountain layer in the background here. For this option here, I'm going to choose 421B6A. Click OK. Left click and paint on the light pink section there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.